just take a look at every single major event that has taken place so far in 2020. Depressing, right? Sometimes it feels like all hope is gone. Sometimes it feels like this will never end. But boy, do I have a message for you. Just join me for the next few minutes as we reflect on God's words and leverage the power of prayer. Take a minute to reflect on all that has happened in our society in just one week. Intensity of the Sahara dust, new cases in the COVID-19 virus, increase in social issues, all of that, all of that in just one week. Have mercy on us, Lord. But you know what, brethren? Although we have to live in such a society, I am here to remind you that the story does not end here. Yes, brother, you don't have to worry much longer about the poverty that your family has to endure. Yes, sister, you don't have to worry much longer about that illness that keeps you up at night. Why? Because I serve a risen savior who's in the world today. The story, ladies and gentlemen, does not end here. In Revelation 21 verses 4 and 5, John writes, And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, and there shall be no more pain, for the former things are passed away. Then he who has sat on the throne said, Behold, all things become new. Oh, hallelujah. I am excited that all things will become brand new. Listen, many of you have been watching this series day after day. I know we are at day 92. You don't have to wait until the final day to finally make that decision for him. Yes, I'm talking to you. There is much more to life than what this old world has to offer. Make that decision right now. Viewers who have already made that decision for Christ, the best gift that you can give to someone is to share these videos so that someone that doesn't know Christ can have that same opportunity to know him. Now we're gonna pray for a few things today. We're gonna pray for those viewers, whether on Shorter's YouTube page or watching on Youth Mission Live, who are struggling to make a decision for him. Those among us who are ill, we're also going to pray for areas of Northeast India and other parts of the world where COVID-19 cases are rising again. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that we don't have to endure the pain and the sufferings of this world any much longer because we know that you will come again and receive us, Lord. Father, sometimes it can get a bit discouraging when we have to sit and listen to the news every day and see all sorts of depressing stuff. But Lord, we ask that you will give us the strength that we need to endure and press on. Lord, there are many persons who are watching that have not yet made the decision to take it all with you. But Lord, we ask that you will send your Holy Spirit to just be there with them so that they can make the right decision and let them know that this will be the best decision that they will ever make. Lord, we thank you for this series and what it has been doing in the lives of many viewers around. In your name we do pray, amen. Thank you so much for watching. If this series has impacted you in a special way, don't keep it to yourself, man. Send us a short video explaining this. You can send it to 876-472-9483. 876-472-9483. And don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on all our social media pages at Shorted SDA Church. See you later.